Hello guys, and uh, welcome to Space Trip Hologram Action Tutorial. So, <coughs> first thing I'm gonna show you is some examples um, of the results of this action. So, here are a few, few results of this action. So, as you can see, it creates a nice hologram. futuristic look so <coughs> let's get straight to the tutorial first thing we need uh, to check is that our photoshop action is in English in this, uh, I mean English version and if it's not it will be, the action will work so as you can see it's English and if it's not you have a video explaining how to change it to English so after that uh, we need to check uh, the mode of image so go to image mode and check RGB color and 8 bits channel after that uh, quickly check that your brush so click here on brush or hit B on keyboard and quickly make sure that your opacity is set to 100% and flow also I mean as well. Um, next thing is go to layers panel here and click on this little box here and click panel options and check this uh, this one here add copy to copy layers and groups click OK after that uh, make sure that your loaded image is set up like this with this lock here but if it's like this just go to layer new and background background from layer um, for this action and all of my other actions I recommend using uh, gray quality pictures with, uh, with big pixel dimensions so if your picture is uh, small just go to image and size and increase your uh, picture size as you can see uh, my uh, this current picture which I will show you uh, this action is uh, set to 4600 pixels for width and 6600 6, for height so picture uh, for the pictures like this this section will work perfectly so let's get started uh, first thing we need is to load the brushes for this action so brush here go to this arrow here on the click on this box and click load brushes then go to your action folder here and load space strip action brushes so as you can see it's loaded and next thing go to window actions or on this click on this box here and we need to load the action so click on this little box here and click load actions and again go to our uh, action folder and click space trip uh, hologram effect as you can see it's loaded here so just open it and open it again click on it and close uh, now we need uh, to brush our model so make a new layer a new brush caps as this as you can see with no caps and this is very important uh, because if you name it anything else action won't work so now we have a quick selection tool and precisely um, select your model uh, just like this to eliminate eliminate 
these gaps here just hold our left alt key and push it and fully fully select your model and after you finished uh, selecting your model just uh, click on a brush layer here and fill it up with any color uh, I'll make it red and to fill it with foreground color here just uh, hold down left alt key plus delete uh, control D to deselect and now we can play our action so go to your actions tab here uh, click on it here and just hit play and wait till it's finished as you can see action is finished so um, now I will explain how to edit this action so first thing uh, you need to do is close quickly close uh, uh, all these uh, layers here so click uh, right click on this little arrow here and click open other groups and click on it again and click close all other groups and hold down let or you can um, close it by ho holding down left alt key and left clicking on this arrow here so everything is closed down as you can see pretty neatly so now I'll explain what every folder do. So first folder is color options, and uh, these are the five color adjustment presets, which you can use uh, when you finish editing your picture with this action to enhance your picture more. Next folder we made adjustments. Those are some, just some uh, contrast adjustments. And next folder is elements in front of model. Uh, you have a uh, hologram lines on your model, as you can see, and you have a uh, hologram lines. Outside the model, as you can see when I hide and show it, and you have a glow, which is a kind of a flare of model, and you have a smoke around model, which is very subtle. You have a glow too, as you can see and you have a hologram which uh, when you hide it uh, you can use this version of hologram also you have a bunch of hologram layers here which you can uh, which you can uh, hide and just play around and make it uh, how you like it so you can change color of these glows as you can see um, you can change color of the smoke around it so as you can see you can make it blue whatever also the glow one see um, you can brush out every every layer of it so maybe you wanna brush out this glow out of face just uh, select this layer mask go to brush uh, select sub brush and make sure your foreground color is black and just um, brush it out Uh, 
you can brush this whole group as you can see and you can do that for other groups also so we're going to the next one which is model and model elements and here is your model um, and a bunch of uh, adjustments and color adjustments on it so you can brush out your model also it's just a second layer of your model um, next next folder is elements behind and it's just outline low which you can also um, change color or brush it out as you can see and the last folder is background elements uh, which are background gradient and background color as you can see you can change color of it or you can uh, select a solid color background and that's pretty much it so when you finish um, editing your picture you can uh, choose one of color presets so and you can combine them also maybe combine number one with number five or number four or three as you can see or you can just pick one so this looks nice you can um, change opacity of the fifth one maybe and also Combine all five of them and create an awesome results with them. And so that's pretty much it. Um, you will, um, go follow me on my Graphic River profile. Download this section. Uh, you have a link in the description. Um, support my work and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for other action tutorials. And also, you have a bunch of other action tutorials on my channel. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next tutorial.